Hi guys. Hi guys. Just wanted to let you in on a little secret that we are not in Phuket. We're actually about a year behind on the video making. So um, we're in South Africa. We're in Cape Town. Um, we're going to do our best to capture, so to catch up <laughs> with uh, videos over the next few weeks. But we thought we'd just better have a little chat about our current situation because it's everyone knows everyone's going through it with the COVID-19 and the inconvenience this virus has caused and uh, much worse consequences for some people but I thought we'd let you know uh, how it's affected our plans and what we're doing two weeks ago I think uh, just before South Africa went into lockdown we had a decision to make whether we should check out because we're heading to Brazil and it was a rush decision that uh, everything would be closing during lockdown, immigration closing and uh, the port would be closing. So our choice uh, was to chance arriving in Brazil and it will take 25 days perhaps, uh, 20 to 30 days for the crossing. And by the time we get there, it could be doors shut. Uh, we did hear of a boat who had arrived and they'd shut and they arrived in Rio de Janeiro and that's a long way from any other country and they were just told go away and they said we have no food we've used up all our provisions don't care go away so we don't want to end up in that situation um, anyway we decided it was best to stay for the lockdown the lockdown here in Cape Town or in South Africa Initially, it was supposed to be 21 days, although we're hearing rumors that it's going to be extended. So we'll see how that goes. So we've been doing lots of boat jobs, um, doing lots of jobs that have been meaning to do for three or four years and never got around to. So it's good. But I tell you, the weather is turning cold. We just bought a heater today, finally, in the supermarkets. <laughs> they were not selling anything that wasn't food it was crazy like in the supermarket we found uh, all the electrical appliances not for sale yeah, um, yeah every, all the uh, shelves are barricaded off with like ribbons. crime scene ribbons yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, luckily in the pharmacy we found a heater for sale so we got that so we're in a very beautiful place here in Hout Bay uh, although we did want to leave uh, and go sailing up to an anchorage uh, which would cost nothing instead uh, they've told us no boat is allowed to move mm -hmm. so we have to stay in the marina here and keep paying the huge fees um, it's a very beautiful place here but it's a bit scary because uh, there's there's two uh, townships where, where there's a lot of very poor people those those People normally earn their income day to day selling things on the street and they haven't been able to uh, earn any money for two weeks now, nearly, yeah, nearly two weeks. Mm -hmm. And um, those people are going hungry. They, they've got their kids screaming because they're hungry. And those people are becoming desperate and there's a chance it could turn a bit ugly the government doesn't support them at all. That they're not giving them money. I've heard some countries, like yeah, in a lot country, of countries, they um, give you money because you can't work. Money and food. Yeah, but not here. Um, we've heard sort of like not a riot, not yet, but coming because there's guys on microphones yelling and screaming and trying to rally up all their uh, all the guys. Um, so. It's a little scary. We may end up with rioting and looting here. Uh, and where are the rich guys sitting in the marina? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we've got a decision to make. Uh, it's about 10 more days of the lockdown, the original plan. If it's extended, I think it's going to really turn to shit here. Um, so we are prepared, we're uh, nearly finished provisioning, uh, we've got at least one month's food, uh, canned food on board now, uh, I, I want to aim for at least two months of food, and we may have to check out 
uh, or not check out, just leave uh, because nothing's open. Immigration, the port would be closed. And we're just going to have to roll the dice, take a gamble, cross an ocean, uh, which will be the easy bit, really, <laughs> in theory, and arrive in Brazil and hope to get in. If, uh, if they won't let us in, it'd be another two weeks sailing to get up to the Caribbean. Mm. And there may be an island there that will let us in. Um, a lot of them, not a lot, but I've heard of some islands allowing you in as long as you stay in Anchorage for 14 days quarantine, even though you've been at sea for five weeks. Um, but that's okay. You know, maybe they'll even bring out some food if we need it. But, uh, we eat fish. If fish. we can catch fish, yeah, yeah. But you don't like fish. I can do fish. <laughs> okay. So that's our situation, and I know it's it's really not that bad. There's a lot of people with a lot worse uh, situations out there, and I hope everyone can get through this as quickly and painlessly as possible. So. That's our update, and we'll get back to those other videos uh, for the rest of the last year, yeah? Keep right. safe, everyone. Bye. Bye. Last night, we had an intruder on the boat. Was it a dog? Oh. A sea dog. So we're about to head off shopping out into the uh, strange desolate land that is Hout Bay. It's also a little bit dangerous because there's a lot of poor people around there that want our shopping or the money that we go there with. Uh, yeah. And I've got so much cash and we're hopefully going to leave South Africa soon. I want to get rid of that cash at the supermarket so I'm taking a lot of cash so let's go <laughs> So we've just been out shopping, they tell us any clothes that we wore in public we should wash immediately. And now we have to have a shower head to toe including washing our hair. Our most favourite purchase. Yeah, it's getting cold here man. <laughs> It's our favorite thing so far. We can't use it because it's got these big ass African plugs on it, which won't fit in. I have universal power points everywhere on the boat, but these don't fit. So we have to void our warranty and how long is that? I have to do it short. 
chop it. Still got room, we should have bought more. 